Where goats haven't grazed before, these goats will lick your crotch. And that's the goaty part of it. Um, so Goat Simulator 3, it's an open world game. It really feels like a Grand Theft Auto simulator with goats. Um, it isn't so much a game as a lot of references pretty much to other games, other moments, either in movies or video games. Pretty much the game opens up and you're riding a farmer's uh, tractor and you're in the sort of the back um, sort of uh, sitting area on the back of the trailer being hitching a ride with three other goats and it's such a major reference to Skyrim it's unavoidable even if you haven't played Skyrim you probably are aware about the intro of Skyrim and just uh, there's that there's like rockets that get fired and just all these like little jokes uh, inside this game um, as a goat you can uh, hit by people you can lick them uh, pretty much what you would imagine a goat would do and then some so these goats they'll attack hot dog sands you know drive police cars play dead um, you can drag people with your tongue so there's a lot of little things you can do in this game uh, there's side quests or pretty much you can just charge people in the, around the map and run over them endlessly and I think the cops do go after you just like GTA after a while but I didn't really see that so much um, the cops were pretty harmless, surprisingly. They, uh, you would steal their car and they would be okay with it. They wouldn't run after you, they wouldn't, you know, put out, pull out a pistol. Like, it's, it's a pretty relaxed, pretty tame compared to GTA in that sense. Um, I even managed to drive a sports car into a pool, so I figured, hey, if, if you can do it in a video game, you should probably do it. And it didn't sink, it was just floating there indefinitely from what I could tell. I went down pool slides, like there's a lot you can do in this game. Um, the graphics are fairly impressive. I found like when I first started playing, I thought like as soon as you arrive at the farm, this game looks pretty darn good considering I don't know what the budget was, but just generally it looks pretty good. Um, but just don't expect anything cutting edge like this is this is more about the environment the sandbox features and just the, all the little crazy things you can do like you fire off rockets you can power glide apparently um, but yeah there's significant pop and it didn't bother me I just noticed it I'm sure that would drive people some people crazy about it uh, the game also offers four player co-op which is really neat so if you have three other friends that want to play with you and cause utter chaos yeah, this game is probably right up your alley, right up your farm. So, um, the quests are suitably deranged in this game. Uh, there's clear objective quest logs. One quest I thought I achieved was firing garbage off of a tennis court. And I cleared it all and then more appeared. So I don't know what's with that. I don't know why I didn't achieve the, uh, the uh, quest, but... Uh, you can also become president, uh, you can unleash tornadoes apparently, I didn't achieve that one. Um, the game is really a wacky tour de force, if you haven't uh, clued in yet. Um, it's a crazy game that sort of encourages silliness and goofing around and I guess you, you could sort of see that just from the box, the fact that it's a goat simulator of all things instead of a rock simulator. Um, yeah, without spoiling the game, yeah, it's possible to hang glide with your go. Uh, I didn't achieve that, I just know it's possible. Uh, and then rocket packs, vacuums, as I said. There's a lot of wacky things. I don't want to spoil it all, but uh, I've heard you can spend a solid 10 to 20 hours or more just unlocking quests and doing random stuff for fun. Um, so as an older game, I had to go into this game pretty much playing it frivolously as carefree as I could uh, do so like a younger gamer and I think I would really love this game if I was still in my teens sadly I'm not and I think if I just enjoy like utter chaos and 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 sort of sought that out in video games I think I would love this game as at a younger age um, I, I like a bit more linear games a bit more story so I feel like this game isn't really meant for me per se even though I can see that it's it's funny and fun um, it feels fun in the moment I just felt I couldn't shake the nagging feeling pretty much that it lacks long-term substance. Like it's cool, you can do this, you can do that. It's like very impulsive in that sense. Like you could do this, or you can like crash your car in the pool. 
It's like stuff you wouldn't or shouldn't really be doing in real life. You can do with your goat in this game or your friends as goats. And um, just it feels like they're superficial quests uh, that require licking or knocking objects over or the hot dog stand guy. You can charge him and he'll go flying out into the ocean. Um, or otherwise just like ramming things in general. Just stuff that goats are known to do. Um, as a solo experience, it just I feel like it doesn't have like a provide a strong interest for the user with the quest being so easy and just things that are silly for the sake of being silly which is okay if you are looking for that but like if you're looking for something with death it's probably not for you um, apparently there's multiplayer mini games that you can play with friends but I'm sure many gamers will miss the chance to play them if they're just playing this solo um, so it's not often you get the chance to play as a goat and there aren't many simulator games out there that are actually good. Uh, there's the fireworks simulator, there's construction simulator, etc. etc. But this one has a lot of uh, jokes at least in it and a lot of things you can do, which makes it a bit more deeper than a lot of the simulators out there. Um, but like the $40 price tag, and then there's extra DLC that you can buy for like $15 or more that seems uh, pretty superficial but if that's what you want then you know go for it um, I feel if you can get this game for 20 bucks it's a fun diversion uh, distract you for less than 10 hours to play the most of the game um, just don't expect a deep experience like it's a solid 8 out of 10 if you are expecting death and just something silly and carefree and lightweight but in the meantime keep on going keep on gaming